Hello, you are on the Proxy Seller channel and my name is Max. In this video I will explain and show you how to unblock a port in Windows 10 and Windows 7, as well as how to unblock a number of ports with which there may be problems if you play online games or do work through the network. In addition to the general port settings on operating systems, we are also talking about ports such as 80, 443, 25565 7777 4950 4955 20 27015. You may face some difficulties because on your PC or laptop the rules for these ports are not written and you are having difficulty working online. With this step by step setup, I will help you eliminate these difficulties. Let's start. I will start with Windows 10 and now we will unblock the port for the Windows 10 firewall step by step. From the bottom left press Start, then Settings. In the window that opens find Update and Security. Further on the left is Window Security. Choose Firewall and Network Protection. If you have an active antivirus and the Advanced Options menu is inactive, then disable the antivirus, then Advanced Options will be active. Click on it. You will see a window for additional parameters. On the left select Inbound Rules. In the window that opens on the right find and select New Rule. In the window that opens you can create a rule for the program or for a specific port. In this case we are interested in the port. Therefore choose Port, put a dot next to it and click Next. Now you need to choose for which protocol the rule is created. TCP or UDP. You can create one for each protocol, but you will need to repeat the process. Suppose we are currently building for the TCP protocol. We put a dot on it. Below you can select a rule for all local ports that are in use and not configure it separately. Then choose all local ports. If a rule is needed for a specific port, then select specific local ports. In the active menu enter the port number. Let's assume this is port 25565. Write it down. And no matter what you choose, all local ports or a specific port, click Next. In the window that opens select Allow the connection and click Next. Next you need to choose which profiles you need a rule for. If you are not sure then put a check mark in front of all three, domain, private, public. Click Next. Now you need to specify a name for the rule and if necessary a description. When done, click Done. As you can see you now have a rule for incoming connections. Now if you still need the same rule for the UDP protocol, then repeat the same process, but select the UDP protocol, leave everything else unchanged. Now you need to create an outbound connection rule. In the first window on the left find this menu, click on it. Then select the new rule and repeat everything exactly as you did for the incoming rule. That's it for two protocols. You will have two rules for one port incoming and two outgoing. Actually these settings for Windows 10 is suitable for opening different ports. Now, how to configure the port and open it if your operating system is Windows 7. Also press Start. Choose Control Panel. Next look for the Brandmauer window tab. Next find additional parameters. Well then everything repeats for you in the same way as for Windows 10. The intervals of additional parameters of the window firewall for the 10th and 7th operating system do not differ. Create a port rule and you are ready to go. This scheme works if you have problems opening ports 443, 80, 20, 5565. The configuration scheme is the same for these ports as I described previously. Just set the specific port field to this port. Now how to configure port 7777 which is typically used in enterprise networks. This port is open through the router. Open the home gateway window, then select advanced, then net, then port mapping and the settings. Select the customization port type, then select the required connection, interface and protocol. Then enter the port detail twice 7777 and click submit. 
Done. The port is configured and you can work with it. If you play Warframe, you may have difficulties with two ports, 4950 and 4955. To fix the problem, start the game. Go to settings and in the gameplay option, in the network ports UDP field, change the ports to 4950 and 4955. There is a such an option. And press confirm. Done. And these ports are configured. Well, and the last port with the configuration and opening of which I will try to help you is port 27015. It opens through the settings of the router. Go to the settings of your router. Then select the forwarding or redirection menu. Then virtual server. Select port 27015. By checking the box next to it and below click on enable selected. Click on update for the changes to take effect. Go to the menu below called DMZ. From the status menu select enable and below enter the IP address of the DMZ host. Click save. On the bottom left, go to the UP and P menu and make sure that port 27015 is enabled for the TCP and UDP protocols and that the status is also enabled in the current state field above. If all is enabled, click Update. Port 27015 is configured and you can work with it. Do not forget also that you can always purchase a reliable personal proxy at proxyseller.com. You are guaranteed round-the-clock support, absolute anonymity when working on the network and 100% of reliability. You will be able to perform any actions on the network completely anonymously. That's it. See you soon.